Hey everybody, it's Keisha here with XDWebSolutions.com and I want to show you a little trick that you can use to see if you're really on the first page of Google. And I know it's important especially for us bloggers, internet marketers, and website owners because we want to see where we stand for the keywords that we allot for ourselves on our website and where we stand in Google. So just wanted to show you what a basic search would look like. So for example, my site, which is a web design site, I want to see where I stand locally, St. Louis website design. And I would say, hey, hey, woohoo, I am number three on Google. Well, that's not absolutely true. This is the search that pops up for, uh, the personalized search that pops up just for me. For instance, of course, I've gone to my website several times. I've, you know, done some searches for keywords to see where I stand. And I've shared this site or my own site on Google. So the searches that pops up for each of us is personalized and individual for what we recently searched for in our history and all that good stuff. So that's what personalization does. And so sometimes people will look at this and say, hey, I'm on the first page of Google, but that's not absolutely true. Um, so, oh, here I am down here to number 10. Again, this is all my search. Now, at first, when I first started to do this, I got all excited about this, right? And I think other people do the same. But what I want to show you is something that you can do so that you can see the real uh, search that's not skewed by the personalization of Google's um, products. Okay, so what you want to do is go up here to the address bar and scroll to the very end and we're going to type in a new parameter. So you can see these other parameters here, uh, GS underscore SM, whatever that means. Uh, here are some other parameters. They all start with the AND symbol. That's what a parameter starts with. So what we want to do is go to the end and just add a new parameter. And I am going to be adding in the ampersand PWS equals zero. Okay, that's the parameter that removes the personalization. Once I hit enter, we'll see the new results here. So now let's look for me. For St. Louis website design, am I really on the first page? Uh, nope, not on the first page at all. As a matter of fact, for this keyword phrase, I am on page number three down here at the fifth result. So I have a little ways to go to butt myself up to second page and then first page. So, just a trick again to just show you how personalization affects the results that you get back. It also depends on your location. See, right now I am in Swansea. If I were somewhere else, my results will still be a little bit different. So, it just depends on where you are, what you have on as far as your personalization. Check the links below the video and on my blog post where I give you the official, uh, Google's official way to disable personalization altogether if that's something you wanted to do. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope this helps and happy keywording.